Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so uh, a lot of um, difficult cards here, if I might say so. The first card is feeling despair and helplessness. Uh, so maybe that's where you are at the moment. You're very frustrated as well in that particular situation. Maybe you're frustrate, frustrated um, you know, with the relationship or even with a lack of relationship, but you are definitely feeling very frustrated. And you're going through a, a lot of emotions at the moment. Uh, there's an element of possessiveness over here. So if you're in a relationship, maybe you're feeling overly possessive. Maybe you feel a bit, uh, you know, you suspect you know, your partner is uh, doing things that you don't like. So that's got that feeling of possessiveness going on over there. So... You're trying to get control of that situation, in other words. Now, there's somebody that you've been very infatuated with. Maybe that's the, that relationship that you were involved in. So you are very focused on this particular relationship. Uh, you know, maybe overly focused on it, in a sense. Uh, obsessing about it, in a sense. Um, there's something that's happened, and, you know, you haven't forgiven them completely. So you are maybe displaying this possessiveness in order to, uh, you know, come to terms with whatever's happened, and, you know, you haven't given them that forgiveness that it was necessary uh, and uh, you know this is now playing out uh, where you're starting to feel very frustrated and very upset about whatever's going on now coming up for you it's got an engagement so either you're going to get engaged you could be intending uh, some sort of uh, you know um, event where there's an engagement that's being celebrated or you know like I said if it's your engagement then there's you know this is not the basis for it to be built on these feelings of despair and uh, possessiveness so it's you know you, you do have to give this quite a bit of thought and maybe you'll need to get together and have a good heart to heart chat about what is on your mind and what is bothering you there's a the card of hanging there so everything is going to sort itself out maybe everything that you're feeling is just because you're frustrated or because, you know, you haven't expressed yourself uh, sufficiently. So you do need to speak to this person and bring everything up, get everything off your chest if you're dealing with that kind of situation. Uh, because, you know, it, um, it seems like, you know, you, you're hanging in there. You, you might have all these thoughts and this could lead to conflict in itself or could lead to a lot of drama. So, um, you know, get it out there. Get it out in the open. Uh, you know, say what you need to say. Um, you know, start off... Um, being very honest and open and that is a very very good way to go into an engagement or a very good way to build a relationship as well so those are the energies for those two weeks so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um romantic tarot and that's for the um main read Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card over here. And this is about you trying to find some direction in your life. You've got this big compass over here. Um, you know, you're trying to find somebody uh, and you're trying to make um, a start with them so that, uh, you know, you're trying to um, establish a home or establish a way of life with this particular person. Uh, you may not have met them yet because these are just shadows, really. And, um, you know, this is what is your goal. This is what your uh, your vision is. So you come up with a plan and, you, you know, you have an idea about what you want out of the person and you want certain qualities to come from that person and this is how you will find your direction you want to have a long-term stable relationship with them you know find your true north really so you are looking for that kind of relationship and you know you've got a lot of hope you might be praying a lot for it as well with the star card now, it seems like, you know, you have been through the mill, really. You've got that queen of swords over here. So you might have come through a divorce. And, you know, maybe this is why you're trying to find, get your bearings back again with that star card. Because, you know, you've been feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated. You can see there's, you're, you're also somebody that's not communicating uh, very clearly to people what you want. So you're coming across as being probably very cold or very, very withdrawn. And you're isolating yourself from the crowd, really, because you've come through a lot of hurt. Uh, you know, it's, you're feeling very lonely as well and you know this might be self-inflicted in a sense because uh, you don't want to be hurt again 
And, you know, this is the Queen of Swords, and she's been through everything. She's really been through. You can see all these swords of years, all those tower moments, all those problems, all those heartbreaks, uh, you know, and it was nasty. And this is why you're almost protecting yourself from whatever is going on. Um, and, you know, maybe in that relationship, it was a very, very dominating relationship. You felt very trapped. You've got this lady with a birdcage over there. So even though appearances seem to be really good about that relationship, maybe this is how this person treated you. They dominated you. They trapped you. And you really did want your freedom from it. So it seems like, uh, you know, this um, card is the card of the divorcee or the person that has, you know, legally separated from somebody. So it looks like you were in a relationship, but there might have been a legal situation, uh, a re legal separation, and now you have your freedom from whatever it is. But it's still making you feel pretty lonely, and you are isolating yourself quite a bit, having gone through a lot of hurt. So you've got the chariot over here. So it seems like in this particular relationship, um, you know, it seems that that person that you were involved in uh, really was the dominating force with it. They took control of that situation and made you feel almost redundant. You had to take a back seat. Uh, in that particular relationship and this was something that you were not happy with uh, and maybe this is the reason why this divorce has happened you're still crying about whatever happened so this loss of this relationship has been very very upsetting for you now with the eight of swords it's still being trapped by those feelings in the past so whatever it was it may have been a very good love relationship because if you look at these this couple they seem to be getting on pretty well uh you're still mourning the loss of that particular relationship so much so that even if somebody else is interested in, in you you're not really even seeing that coming through because you're still trapping yourself uh you know by whatever love you perceive that you have for this particular person so may, you may be still be in love with the person from the past um and you're focusing a lot on that you're mourning about it quite a bit uh and it seems like there might be somebody around you that is quite interested in having a relationship with you now, uh, you know, you do want, you've got this uh, Knight of uh, Rods over here. So you do want a new relationship, maybe more physical than it is, uh, you know, long-term emotional. You want maybe a casual relationship, somebody you can go out with. Maybe you're feeling pretty lonely and you are looking for some kind of relationship. This is playing on your mind, uh, where you're looking for somebody who can wine and dine you and take you out and have a good time. Uh, you know, something very casual, nothing too serious. And this has been playing on your mind. Now, it looks like, excuse me, Bella. It looks like uh, a new relationship will be coming in for you. You've got the Ace of Pentacles over here, so something coming through on the work front. Uh, so you might be meeting somebody from the on uh, at your work, somebody that you're interested in, or somebody interested in you, and they might actually ask you out, really. Or if you're the person that's doing the asking, you there's somebody that you're interested in in the workplace, and you might actually ask this person out. So that could be, you know, either way. Now, what's going on with you? You are focused on your career. You've got this um, page of pentacles over here. So you're still working up that career ladder itself. Uh, but, you know, you have got your artistic interests as well. You're not that focused uh, on the work um, of, you know, too much. You're not obsessed with it. Uh, and it's not paying you too well. So you're not financially, you know, um, a king or anything of that sort seems like you're still working your way out and the coins are coming in over there uh, but you're working very hard with this page of pentacles here so uh, this particular person that you meet might be somebody on that work front that you are working with now you are going to be cutting out um you never know which way is up okay so you are going to be cutting out uh you know the past cut you see this this rose is being severed and starting off um you know uh, a new cycle really uh, with the uh, Ace of uh, Swords, it's about, you know, having a brand new idea, a brand new strategy, getting clarity within that situation, and almost even reaching closure as well with this um, Ace of Swords. If it is a legal situation, then that's a legal ending, then the case is resolved and, you know, your freedom is given to you as well. It seems like, you know, once that is resolved, you will get your freedom. So it comes out, the bird comes out of the cage and out into the open. So it looks like, uh, you know, the decision is being made. You are with this queen of tentacle, um, queen of swords. It's about being the divorcee. So somebody who's divorced. So you get your freedom as well with that um, Six of Rods. Uh, and, you know, Six of Rods is a victorious card. So you are going to be, uh, whatever happens goes in your favor as well. And even with this Ace of um, Swords, it's going to be cutting out that past, cutting out everything and starting afresh, starting a new cycle. Uh, and that legal case is going to be in your favor. So you are cutting out that person completely. Maybe you will even break off communication completely. Now, what you're hoping for is a new offer to come in with that Four of Cups over here. So there's somebody that you're interested in. Uh, uh, you know, and you are waiting for them to make some kind of approach to you. 
So going into the future, and the final outcome would be the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Rods, and uh, the King of Swords. So it looks like, you know, there is somebody that's interested in you. That's waiting the wings over there for maybe things to settle down. You yourself are focused on your career. You can see this woman's looking after these goats. And maybe you don't even realize this person has in, an interest in you because you are so focused on this work. So it looks like that's what you're doing. You're trying to accumulate the money, trying to accumulate coins, um, you know, trying to build up your, um, you know, uh, financial independence as well and you are very very focused on work and it's keeping you quite busy now it looks like this person is going to make some kind of approach over here uh, it, this person might be a fire sign person so you're looking at um, Aries Leo Sagittarius making some kind of approach to you and it's, they're going to probably send you some kind of message on invitation they're pretty dynamic very fast moving uh, and uh, you know um, somebody that's very attractive you're very very um, you know they're very ambitious as well uh, but somebody that is waiting for you, you know, maybe to sort your, sort out the situation before they can actually make this kind of uh, communication or kind of approach. So it looks like there is some kind of offer coming in for you. It's going to come in pretty quickly. So you're going to have to make a decision pretty much on your feet there. Now you've got the King of Swords over here. So that legal decision is being made and finally things are going to be closed. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, you're broke, breaking off communication with this person that you're dealing with. It was a difficult case uh, or, you know, if you're dealing with a legal case, uh, legal separation it looks like it was a difficult separation and it looks like that decision or that judgment will be made so that news is coming in for you and it looks like that new invitation coming in for you as well as far as the relationship goes so i'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, archangel power tarot so it looks like there is that fire sign person coming in with the king of gabriel so keep your eyes on the big picture leave the details to others experience that leads to success genuine concern for others but it looks to me like this person is going to be making or sending you some kind of message they might even take you out it's going to be a fire sign person it's a um, you know aries leo sagittarius with the king of gabriel uh you know they're in a very high position they're quite ambitious uh there could be a businessman they could be somebody that's very dynamic somebody who likes to travel quite a bit so it looks like they might be making an offer to you as far as a new relationship goes. Then you've got the Queen of Raphael over here, which says, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So this is the Queen of Cups. This is your card. So it looks like there's a brand new cycle beginning over here. And it looks like this King of Gabriel is going to be making some kind of offer to you, the Queen of Raphael. <coughs> And it looks like you need to follow your instincts. If you're feeling a bit down, you know, try and get out of these mood swings because the Queen of Raphael, the Queen of Cups, tends to be a bit moody. Uh, so, you know, just keep a check, a tight drain of your emotions. But it looks like a new uh, cycle beginning for you. And it's going to be a very healing relationship as well. Then you've got the Two of Gabriel. So this plays out really nicely. The King of Gabriel, the Queen of Raphael, and then you've got the Two of Gabriel, which is talking about a partnership that is coming in important relationships with people who share your vision so you and this person uh with this two of gabriel's the two of rods are going to be pretty you know you might be working on a project together but you'll get along very very well you'll understand each other and you'll have the same goals in mind so it looks like maybe this person is going to be making that offer for you it may start off as a friendship first and then end up as a relationship but it looks like it might be something uh you know that's going to be pretty good and very dynamic very exciting as well so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.